If you're like me and you spend way too much time on Reddit, Twitter and YouTube, then you might already know that Steam have started doing this thing called Developer and Publisher Homepages. Basically, it's a revamped method of being able to see all the games by a single developer or publisher. So you know how you go to a Steam store page and the developer gets a little blue link under the short bio? Well, before this homepage thing, that link would just redirect you to a filtered search for all the games by that developer. It wasn't very glamorous, and the developer has no control over how their games are being presented to the user, since it would just dump, well, all of their apps to the, uh, by that developer in an untidy list, and if that's a bunch of DLC entries, then yeah, it's just going to be very cluttered and not very nice to look at. Now with this developer homepage system, that little blue link will actually redirect you to a nice clean interface, which happens to look very similar to the Steam Curator pages, since I'm pretty sure they're based on the very, uh, or at least very similar underlying technology, at least for the moment. So how are these better than the weird searchless thingy? Well, first of all, developers actually have suitable control over how our games are presented, which is pretty damn good. The front page can be reserved for only actual applications that we want people to see immediately, which for most of us would be our most successful or cool looking games, rather than like 30 skin DLCs and then a demo and then 25 more skin DLCs. Also it looks like you're actually meant to be there. The previous system was leveraging search results with a strict filter to only show games from one developer, whereas this new system is a lot more built up and slick. Previously it kind of felt like you were going through those behind panel bits in Portal, where a crazy person written like weird ramblings on the wall except instead of a crazy person it's a game developer and instead of psychotic ramblings it's just everything they've ever done and instead of a wall it's just steam that analogy kinda got away from me I'll be honest but I'm maybe you get the idea I don't actually know uh, anyway the most interesting point here is that you can actually follow the developers you're interested in to be notified whenever they upload something new I think that a lot of the time when there's a certain separation between consumers and the companies behind the games they're playing, which kind of sucks. I did know that before I got into game dev, I didn't really recognise any company besides a select few, and even then I didn't really follow their work, I just, you know, sort of knew their games. Uh, I think it's fair to say this mentality is really different to how a lot of other industries work, like music or writing. I mean... A frequent question when discussing music is like, what's your favourite album by this band? Whereas I don't know if I've ever heard somebody say, what's your favourite game by Clay Entertainment? Uh, I'm not sure if this is just down to how games and music are fundamentally different, I don't really think that's the case. Or whether it's a fault of the way the industry and gaming culture works at the moment, but either way I think it's good for everybody if consumers are pushed towards remembering their favourite creators in the long term, rather than just remembering the game. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more strange meandering video essays about things which happened like weeks ago. I mean, Steam didn't really publicise this very much and there wasn't much media hype, so I guess I'm doing some kind of service by telling you about this. Make your own curator page and post it in the comments, I'll follow you even if nobody else does. Also follow mine, I'll freely admit this is all just a ploy to get you to follow my Steam developer page. Um, also yeah, this video is late, I forgot to upload a video yesterday or do anything yesterday. I meant to, I meant to do this video, but I just didn't, so, um, yeah, this is, I guess, that.